Another thing that uh, really strikes me when I look into the Old Testament that the Israelites did not believe in the hellfire and heaven or that's what they claimed in their book and the reason why because the hellfire and heaven was not mentioned in the Bible for them if God blessed them with a lot of crops and wealth and children then this is their heaven this is the blessing from God but it is all earthly materialistic thing it has nothing to do with spiritual heaven or afterlife of uh, or after death uh, as a matter of fact it does not mention any of the hellfire or the heaven after life what they mention that the dead people will go to a certain place called folly or what we say in Arabic al -hawiyah. And it is mentioned in Proverbs 15:11, but that's about it. But no one knows what happened after death. And as I said, that hellfire and heaven is an earthly thing. So if someone is punished by sickness or punished by that he's poor or something like that, so this is the his hellfire. This is the the distress that he lives in that because Allah is punishing him so when the Israelites went to exile uh, by the Babylon or by the Assyrian or by the uh, by the Persian that was uh, they considered that as a punishment from God and that's it they don't look at it in a spiritual way that someone is gonna die and then go to hellfire or something like that in the Hellenistic era around like 300 BC until 300 AD uh, the Jews were separated to three different religious sects of course there were more than that but those three they were the most common ones the first one they were called the scribes and the scribes they were uh, part of the priestic uh, of the priestic hierarchy and they were the ones who write the books and and like copy the books they were very strict they were very literal when they translated and interpreted uh, the literature of the scriptures they actually interpreted literally and so they were very strict and they did not believe in the hellfire or heaven however the other sect they're called Sadducees or Siddiqiyun in Arabic they believed in the hellfire and hell and they said that there is an afterlife after death there is the third sect that they have nothing to do with those two and they were very much like monks and nuns and they lived uh, isolated from the society and from the world and they were called the asceticism or they called al mutanassikin in Arabic and they are just like monks and and they just like separated themselves from the politics and all that and they wanted to live by themselves away from any society or any kind of contribution in the society so their aqidah and doctrine developed over time uh, and so for example they also didn't believe in Satan and in the in the other in the jinn and so on but it was later on when they start to believe in the unseen world and things like that same thing with hellfire and heaven the Israelites uh, doctrine it developed over time until it reached to the after the Hellenistic time and they started putting other uh, doctrine uh, of the like for example the Christianity when when it came to the Christianity when they start to say about the three gods father son and the Holy Spirit and they were influenced and affected by the culture of the Romans who believed in gods and semi gods and divines and so on and those divines can can be like united in one person and so on and then you know things like that however the aqidah the doctrine of Islam which is the true aqidah it never changes from the beginning till the end from the beginning we know that there is only one God worthy to be worshipped we know that there are angels we know that there are books that they were written by the prophets revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we know about the prophets we know about the day of judgment and we know about Qadr about the final destiny and they were revealed to all the prophets from the beginning of time 
But in the Bible, we see something totally different. And that tells us one thing, that the Bible is not the word of God. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in chapter 5 verse 12, And Allah had already taken a covenant from the children of Israel, and we delegated from among them 12 leaders. And Allah said, I am with you if you establish prayer, and give zakah and believe in my messengers and support them and loan Allah a goodly loan. So you see over here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the six pillars of faith or the articles of faith to the Israelites from the beginning. Then Allah says, I will surely remove from you your misdeeds and admit you to gardens beneath which rivers flow, which is Jannah the jannah and hellfire heaven and hellfire but whoever of you disbelieves after that has certainly strayed from the soundness of the way subhanallah so allah has revealed his way and the articles of faith to the israelites from the beginning and that's what the quran says however in the bible you see all these mixed messages because people kept putting other nations myths and other nations you know uh, doctrines in there and they mixed it all up until it became really confusing 